Do you want to see the baby? Asked the midwife. What have I given birth to? Why would she ask me if I want to see my own baby? Something definitely is not right with this baby. Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ayum and on this channel I share with you the information and the inspiration that you need to overcome adversity. So thank you for joining me today. Today I want to talk to you about using grief as a catalyst for growth. So on the 26th of January 2004, I was shopping for my baby in this shopping center where my water broke and I was rushed to the Rotunda Hospital in Dublin. An emergency cesarean section was carried out for various reasons. And as soon as the baby was brought out, she was quickly taken to another room. Then the medical team gathered around me and they began to ask me questions. And the midwife asked a question that I will never forget. She said, do you want to see the baby? What have I given birth to? Why would she ask me if I want to see my own baby? Something definitely is not right with this baby. When she saw my apprehension, she went on to explain that there were some complications with the baby and that she was missing some limbs. Her description of the baby was terrifying. So I didn't have the courage to see my baby. I couldn't answer in the affirmative. So I was taken to the world. My baby was taken to the intensive care unit. But the following day, I summoned courage to go and see the baby. And I asked to be taken to where she was. And when I saw her, she was beautiful. I carried her in my arms. I wept so much. And I still loved her. She looked better than what the midwife described to me the previous day. But at the same time, I was hit with grief because this is a child that had a difficult journey ahead of her. People experience health challenges in the course of their life. But this is a child that was born with severe health challenges. And I grieved because this child looked different from a typical child, she was confronted with challenges where above other children of her age. But today I want to talk to you about how grief can be a catalyst for growth because the condition of my daughter actually turned out to be a catalyst for my growth. Because one of the things I proposed to do when she was born because she was very tiny when she was born i proposed that i was going to feed her very well so that she will grow at least she will look like other children of her age she was missing some limbs she looked a bit different facially and all that but i felt that at least if her size was like a child of her age then it won't cause a lot of um, attention that we get each time i carry her but I found that the more I tried to feed her, the more she would not take in the food and the more frustrated I became. And this week many times caused me to cry and just be very distressed. And then one day it occurred to me that this situation is out actually outside of my control. I realized that certain situations in life are outside of our control. I also realized that certain things are within my control and what I decided to do after that was to focus on the things that are within my control. So what is grief? Grief is that intense sorrow or distress that we feel after a significant loss. This loss could be the death of a loved one. Or it could, be, it could also be the loss of something very dear or precious to us. 
I told you how I was struck with grief at the birth of my daughter because of the challenges that laid ahead of us. So we can grieve for people when we lose a loved one, we grieve. We can also grieve for things. When you lose your health, you grieve. When you lose a relationship, you grieve. So each time we lose something very precious to us, or we lose someone very precious to us, the natural tendency is to grieve. What I have realized with grief is that grief had the tendency to break us. The strongest person, when hit by a significant loss, we experience grief. And when grief breaks us, we have the choice to remain broken forever or we have the choice to pick up the broken pieces of our life and make something beautiful out of it. Many people when they are stuck with grief, they go the route of being bitter. They blame God, they blame circumstances, they blame Situ- they blame everything blamable and sometimes you cannot blame them that is just the way they feel it's okay to grieve which is what i always tell people but we must not remain stuck in grief grief can become a catalyst for growth because grief comes with a lot of emotions when you are grieving the anguish you are you, you are feeling is like a fuel And for me, the way grief became a catalyst for my growth was that when I realized those things that were outside of my control, I decided to let go of them, submit them to God, pray and hope for the best. And then when I realized the things that were within my control, I decided to make better choices that can bring out the best outcome based on my choices so some of the areas that i discovered i had control were number one my attitude i decided that i was not going to be bitter i was going to be better i've seen examples of some people that were bitter as a result of certain experiences that they went through and how that bitterness have destroyed them i was going to put on the right attitude i was going to look at the situation from a positive angle and see how i can make the best out of it and you know when you begin to work on your attitude especially when the situation around you is negative and you you are choosing to have a positive attitude it's going to require some level of development of working on yourself to make sure that you keep your mind in that positive framework that will make you to have a positive attitude And then because of that, I also decided to commit to personal development. The level I wanted to work in, I discovered that I was not developed up to that level. I needed to grow myself. So I began to commit to personal development, learning learning how I can improve myself, learning how I can be a better person, learning how I can do things at a higher level. And... I just discovered that that, because I was within my control, I began to see great growth in my life. I began to produce better results because I committed to growth. And then another area that I also chose, that I also realized I had control and I I could develop myself in, was in how I use my experience. Because of the pain, the grief I have experienced, I decided I was going to use my experience to help other people that are going through pain. I was going to share my experience with them. I was going to encourage them whatever way that I can. I was going to share anything that I'm learning that is helping me to move forward with them. And that led me into a number of projects. This talk that I'm doing right now is is part of those commitments I made to use my experience to help people. 
And because of the pain that I felt, because of the grief, I could not feel the pain of others when they are going through certain challenges. That made me empathetic. That made me become somebody that is willing to alleviate the pain of others because of what I have been through. And I can tell you, I can tell you so many ways that I have grown because of my painful experience. So I'm also putting it across to you that the grief that you are experiencing right now or the grief that you have experienced can become a catalyst for your growth. Rather than use the anger that came out of the grief to continue to maybe destroy relationship, destroy people, destroy yourself, that anger, that passion can be channeled to a cause that is profitable to humanity, that is profitable to you. And as you commit to that cause, you will see yourself growing. You will see yourself becoming a better person. So grief can become a catalyst for growth. So thank you for watching this video. I hope that you have learned something and it has blessed you. And if it has, why don't you share it with somebody so that they also can be blessed. And if you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Why don't you hit that subscribe button now so that anytime I upload a new video, you'll be notified. So once again, thank you for joining me and God bless you. I love you. Bye.